Good morning, wonderful people. Oh, good day. Welcome to the Redemption Revolution service. This is our 12 o'clock online service. Uh, such a beautiful day to be alive on this sixth day of March 2022. Uh, the Lord has been doing so much in the previous month, and we believe Him to do even greater in this third month of the year 2022. Uh, whenever we gather together as God's people, we expect Him to do great and mighty things, and He's never disappointed us. He's always sending forth His Word, touching our hearts, releasing us, and inspiring us for what He has in store for us. And as redemption, we believe that this is a time for a revolution in our lives. And I encourage you to get ready, plug in, get your Bible, get your notebook, and plug into what God is doing. Now, we will pray even as we get ready for a time of worshiping Him and then also to receive the ministry of the Word. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You. Thank You for this beautiful day that You've ushered us into. Lord, we are expectant of the great things that You have in store for us. Touch our hearts so that we will connect with You to run with You even deeper into the things that You have in store for us, O oh God. We pray that even as you inspire us, we will live true to what you've called us to live out. Let our lives be a testimony. Let our lives, as they are touched, be able to impact other lives. We praise you for answer to prayer in Jesus' mighty name. So get ready for a time of praising and worshiping and also to receive the ministry of the word. Shalom to you.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this Redemption Revolution service. I'm Richard Lutwama, and it's a great joy to come to your home, to your office, wherever you are on the road, or just chilling back in your backyard. We thank God that you're with us today. We believe that God is going to turn your situation around and revolutionize you for Amen. the glory of God. Amen. As usual today, we're joined by Pastor Charlie here at the Redemption Studio. Pastor Charlie, good to have you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's an honor to be had Hallelujah. here in the presence of God. Yes. And I'm super excited because I believe God is going to do an incredible work in me today, even for the people that are tuning in all yes. around the world. Wherever it's an honor and it's a privilege to have you today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Pastor Charlie, for the past uh, four weeks, we've been talking about the revolution. Yes, sir. God transforming lives around mm. God breaking yokes mm. splitting wigs yep. Shaking things from the very core of mm. its foundation, yes, sir. bringing about a systemic change yes, sir. where the people of God enter a great, great victory. Hallelujah. I'll encourage you guys to get those sermons. We mm. did four of them. They're mm. right here on Facebook. Mm. As you download those, you will be blessed in a special way. Don't yes, miss sir. out on those four. Yeah. Get a hold of them and God will do a great, great work in Amen. you. Amen. Now today, we're going to go to the book of Acts. Yeah. We're going to read a beautiful scripture here. Mm. The book of Acts, chapter 7. Pastor yeah. Charlie. Yes, sir. And uh, as we get into the word today, I wanted to invite your loved ones, that let them join us. Tell them we are live right now on Facebook, mm. on Zoom, and on YouTube. Give mm. them our handle. Be that vessel through which God blesses someone else. As Pastor Charlie takes us into the word of God, send a quick text, send a, a quick message. You can even pick the phone up and call somebody and let them know the redemption revolution is live right now in Jesus' name. We're starting in the book of Acts, Acts 17, verse 1, mm. all the way uh, to verse seven. 7. Amen. The Bible says, Now when they had passed through Amphi Amphipolis mm. and Apol Apollonia, yes. they came to Thessalonica, mm -hmm. where there was a synagogue of the Jews. Yes. Then Paul, as his custom was, went into them, and for three Sabbaths reasoned with them from the scriptures. Yes. Explaining and demonstrating that Christ had to suffer and rise again from the dead. Yes. And saying, this Jesus whom I preach to you is the Christ. Yes. And some of them were persuaded and a great multitude of the devout Greeks and not a few of the leading women joined Paul and Silas. Yes. But the Jews who were not persuaded, mm -hmm. becoming envious, took some of the evil men from the marketplace and gathering a mob set all the city in an uproar yes. and attacked the house of Jason yes. and sought to bring them out of the out to the people yes. but when they did not find them they dragged Jason and some brethren to the rulers of the city crying out these who have turned the world upside down have come here too Jason has harbored them and these are the acting and these all are acting contrary to the decrees of Caesar, saying there is another king, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Guys, we've jumped right into a story here, mm. a beautiful story. Yes, sir. The man of God, Paul, mm. throughout the revolution, the revolution series, we've been talking about mm. Paul. Paul. Paul, the man of God, yes, is out there doing the ministry of the kingdom. Yeah. And uh, he's been hosted by a man called Jason. Jason. And the backdrop is, is they're preaching the gospel everywhere. People yes. are being healed. People mm. are being delivered. Mm. The revolution is on. Mm. But it is so powerful, so mighty, so glorious mm. that you know what? The heathen want to stone Paul and his companions. Mm. And they try to apprehend them and they can't get a hold of them. So they, they throw a feet mm. out of the that rage, they pick Jason up and they're trying to stone him and they bring him out into the city to the magistrates and they say mm. that the men who have turned the world upside down mm. have come here to our town and Jason has given them refuge and given them a place to stay. Yeah. But the outstanding testimony and what we want to talk about is the very fact that mm. this man had turned the world upside, upside down. down. Yeah. Mr. Charlie, that's what the revolution is all about. Yes, sir. Turning the world upside, upside down. down. 
Glory to God. I, I love it. I love it when uh, these guys have an issue. And the text yep. says, the last verse, in, uh, the last line in, in verse number seven, yes. he says, they are declaring there is another king. There is another king. And the Bible is deliberate to say the name of this king yes. is Jesus. Jesus. They're not just denouncing Caesar as king. Yes. But they are saying the person we are enthroning yes. in this revolution, yes. in this whole change of atmosphere, yes. the significant change is about Jesus. It's about Jesus, it's about Jesus getting enthroned as king, as master. Hallelujah. It's about Jesus being enthroned as the Lord of everything. Hallelujah. That every fiber, every member of your family, every member of your society will yes. know that the reigning king in this house the is Jesus. Is Therefore, Jesus. I will not allow poverty. No. I will not allow disadvantage. No. I will not allow confusion. Nope. I will not allow any other thing because when Jesus comes in, Hallelujah. he settles everything. Yes. He settles every doubt. Yes. He, he, he quiets every dissenting voice because yes. the nature of this Jesus, yes. the Bible says he is the prince yes. of peace. Prince so of when peace. he comes in, oh, that time is about to end. Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody right now yes. that this revolution is here to bring you the peace of God. Peace of it's God. here to bring you the healing of God. Healing of because God. when the King Jesus comes and he sits in, yes. every other thing is going to settle and yes. he will be enthroned as master of everything. Hallelujah. Glory to Wherever God. Wherever you are, guys, Jesus is Lord. Yep. Jesus is King. Yes, sir. He's coming in to revolutionize yes. your life. Yes, sir. Break yokes, break mm. bondages. Glory to Set God. Set you up to mm. see his goodness yes. in the land of the of living. living. And let it be very clear in your heart and in your mind. He's mm. not going to leave you yes. like he found you. Glory to God. In fact, he loves you too much yes. to leave you yes. like he found yeah, you. Yeah, He's yeah, going yeah, to transform yeah. you. Yes, He's sir. going to turn your bank account. Glory. He's going to turn that balance down. Yes. Uh -huh. He's going to turn your business acumen up. He's going to turn yeah. your family situation up. Yeah. He's going to turn your career up. Yeah. As long as Jesus is in your situation, yes, in your life, yes, there sir. is a revolution. Yeah. Yes. And that revolution turns everything around glory for the glory God. of God. Amen, Hallelujah. amen, amen. All right, for those of you who are taking notes today, we want to talk about a new hope. hope. We want to talk about change. Mm. And you know, change comes as a result of hope. Yeah. And as we get into <clears throat> this revolution, we want you to know there is a yeah. new, a new hope. hope. In yes. other words, change is on the horizon. Hallelujah. Buckle up, get ready, because yes. God loves you too much to leave you like he found you. Yes. Did he find you in poverty? Mm. He loves you too much to leave you in poverty. in poverty. Did he find you in disease? Yes. He loves you too much to, to leave, leave you sickly. in that sickness yes. and that disease. Yes, sir. Did he find your family, your home in bondage mm. of witchcraft, mm. sorcery, mm. or whatever? Yes, sir. The love of God is way too good, Hallelujah. way too great Hallelujah. to leave you like he found you. Amen. That is why we come to declare and to announce to you today yes, sir. that change is here. Change there is, is here. a new hope. Yeah. There is a new expectation. Yes, sir. There is a new drive. Yes, sir. There is a new level, a new yeah. dimension that yeah. we're going to. Yes, sir. And we just need to open our hearts and mm. our minds and our spirits yes, sir. to that new hope. hope. He cannot leave you like he found you. Mm. And you know what, guys? One of the things that we all need is hope. Yes, sir. Hope for a better tomorrow. Yes, sir. Hope for a better day. Mm. Hope for a better future. Yes. For yourself and for your children. Yes. Doesn't matter where you live. Mm. Everybody is expecting something different. Everyone yeah. has a hope. Yes. I love hope. Because mm. when you go to the deep villages of Africa, you find hope. hope. When you go to the cities of Africa, you find hope. hope. When you go to the cities of Europe, mm. still there you find hope. hope. The man who is sick is hoping to be healed. Yep. The one who is bound is hoping to be delivered. delivered. The one who is in limitation, poverty and lack and mm. need yes. has hope. Mm. As a matter of fact, everyone that's alive today mm. has hope. Yep. That's why they haven't put a rope around their neck. <laughs> that's why they haven't cut it short yes. because they have hope. Yes, sir. That's why when we say there is a new hope, mm. what we are declaring is that God is going to turn your situation around yeah. and give you mm. something better tomorrow. Yes, sir. Your coming days are going to be better than
than your past. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, where you're going is Ooh, brighter. Glory it to God. Better, glory it to is God. It's so good yes. that it makes me break the laws and the mm. principles of English. And yes. I say it is so good, it is gooder. Hallelujah. It is gooder than yesterday. <laughs> it is gooder than, yes, it is than gooder. what you've seen behind you. Gooder. It is so good, it yes. is gooder. Hallelujah. You must have that hope. You must have the hope. Hallelujah. I, I love the rendering of the scripture. There's a portion of scripture that says that we have come unto a lively hope. Yes. This hope is not one that, you know, just gets you uh, excited for nothing yes. and it leaves you hanging. Yes. The, the kind of hope we're talking about in this revolution yes. is the hope that is about to get you to the place that God wants you to get to. Hallelujah. It's not a dead kind of hope. No, it's because not. sometimes people, you know, we, we, we just we just say we are hopeful, but we're, we're just saying it for we're the sake of it. it. Mm -hmm. but for, for the sake of saying it, yep. we don't really believe it because yep. we don't have anything to hang on to. Yes. When we say, when we talk about this hope, yes. we're talking about the hope that comes from Jesus. He says, in this world, you will find many troubles, yes. but be hopeful, be, be of good cheer, Hallelujah. because I have overcome. I have overcome. In other come. words, this Jesus is telling us that we, we, we have something to hold on to. Yes. We have something that is about to change our lives because we mm. know for a fact that Jesus' life was changed yes. and he overcame the stuff that were that is, that, that, that is troubling us today. Yes. And consequently, we can hold on to this to see a better tomorrow. The hope we're talking about here mm. is a lively hope. A lively and it hope. can only and only be found in the Lord. In the it Lord. cannot be found anywhere else. No, it it cannot be found in your education. Nope. It's, I'm not saying there's something wrong with the education. It's nope. a wonderful thing. But yep. this hope doesn't come from education. No, it then come from the bigness of your bank account. Nope. Then come from anywhere else. It comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what we're here to talk about. For you to get this new hope in your spirit, in yes. your heart, in yes. your everything to know yes. that I am changing. My situation is changing. Yes. Everything about me is changing because yes. I'm holding on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The other thing is that this new hope is for new things. Yeah. New things that are coming. Yes, sir. The old is passed away. Yeah. Behold, God makes everything new. new. What I love about God is mm. that it takes us from ever increasing shine and it takes us to an even brighter shine. Yeah. It takes us from glory to glory. Hallelujah. It takes us from faith to faith. Hallelujah. You might think that you've arrived at the ceiling mm. and you can't go any higher, mm. but God has a new level for you. Amen. Yesterday's ceiling is today's foundation. Hallelujah. What you thought was so big yes. yesterday yes, is so little today. Yes, sir. You are literally stepping on it. Hallelujah. What do we mean by a new hope? Mm. We mean that believe God again. Yes. Believe God and trust Him again. Again. Expect the miracles of God again. In Jesus' name. You may name. have had some tough times. Mm. Believe God again. Again. You may have had some difficult times. Ooh. Believe God again. Again. Your first wife may have left you. Mm. Believe God for a second wife. Yes, sir. Your first boyfriend might not have taken you down the aisle, <laughs> but I tell you what, believe yes. God again. Again. He will give you Ooh. that breakthrough. Yes, sir. He will turn your morning into dancing. Yes. He will give you joy, rejoicing, mm. a spirit of dancing instead of heaviness. Heaviness. Let us believe <laughs> God again. Again. You may have started seven businesses and mm. they all, all failed, yeah. but let's believe God again. again. This next one will succeed. Yes, sir. You may have built three buildings oh, and lost and them and all, but I tell you what, God Ooh. is not going to abandon you. Yes, sir. Let's believe God again. again. There is a new hope A today. new hope. There is a new level today. Yes. There is a new blessing today. Yes, sir. The grace and the goodness of God mm. is not limited to your yesterday yes, with sir. yesterday's miracles mm. and yesterday's blessings. Mm. Right now, today, the Bible declares today is the day of, of salvation. Yes, sir. And God is able to do today, today. exceedingly, abundantly, mm. above and beyond what you could think, ask, or oh, imagine. imagine. I'm, I'm reminded of Thomas Edison, yes, sir. Uh, the guy who made the, the light bulb. He's mm. credited for making the light bulb. Mm. But this guy, he kept on failing and failing and mm. failing and he mm. tried over a thousand times mm. and failed mm. and the journalist came and told him but you failed a thousand times why do you keep trying mm. he said i did not fail a, f a thousand times mm. i just find i just found out <laughs> how it cannot work a, a thousand, thousand times Ooh, glory uh, to God. and he said
I don't need to succeed a thousand times. Mm. I need to succeed only once. Yes, sir. If I can figure out how it works once, yeah. it will be worth all the Ooh. thousand times yes, sir. I have failed. Yes, sir. We're talking about a new hope, guys. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter how many times you've failed. Mm. Believe God again. Yeah. Pray again. Pray Go again. Go back to the night of prayer. Yes. Go back onto your knees. Glory Go to back God. to the house of God. Yes. Go back onto God and mm. say, Lord, I trust you again. Yes. Because yes. I've got a new hope. A new in hope. Jesus' name. Glory to God. All right, guys, we're going to give you, we're going to give you four things that are mm. critical mm. if you are going to run with the revolution mm. in this new hope. Yes, four sir. things yes, that are very critical mm. in Jesus' name. As, as we get started, mm. the first thing that we need to understand is that God is giving us a new hope. God is giving us change. And the first thing we need to do is to change our thinking. Yeah, yeah. You see, the Bible declares, as a man thinks in his heart, so, so is, he. is he. Yes, sir. In other words, if you think you're going to fail, you've That's already right. failed. Mm. If you think you're going to succeed, you're going to succeed. Mm. If you think that you can't make it, can't mm. go nowhere, can't mm. do nothing, mm. then that is your portion. Because mm. as a man thinks in, in his, his heart, heart, so is he. Yes, sir. We're talking about a revolution. Yes, sir. We're talking about a new hope. Yes, sir. Talking about change, yeah. it begins by changing your thinking. Yeah. Change your thinking. Yes. Change how you see yourself. Change, change it. how you, you see your, your, your tomorrow. Mm. Change how you think about you. Mm. You need to change your thinking, Pastor yes, sir. Charlie. It, it, it is important. And uh, allow me, Bishop, to, to, to touch this. You yes. triggered it when you were speaking. Yep. Because sometimes people think that uh, these things happen uh, naturally. Naturally, it, by it, themselves. It, it, they will happen by themselves. Nothing to do and, with and, this. And when you said you, you change your thinking, yep. it got to me to think that now it is my responsibility. Yes. Because now it is intention. It's, it's something that I do intentionally yes. to change how I think. Yes. In other words, if I catch my th myself in a thought yep. that is negative, that is against what God is That's trying to do, I will say no. no, no I'm no. going to flip back to what I should be thinking. Yes. I cannot be thinking that this business I am starting today yep. is going to be like the same ones that I opened last year. No, no, no. no. this is a different kind of business. Different. If you catch yourself thinking the way you are thinking before, you have to take yourself and say, uh-uh, this is not how I'm thinking no, anymore. No, no. I am thinking now like the business muggle that God has told me to be. Yes. I am thinking like the billionaire that I have to be yes. because it is intentional, and I'm, I'm not taking I, I'm not taking chances with it. No, no. I'm not say, I'm not leaving it to chance. I'm no, not leaving no. it to anything else. No, I am no. being deliberate about the thoughts that come to my head, yes. or rather, the, the 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 thoughts that I choose to stay in, in my, my head. head. Yes. Because sometimes you know some random thoughts come. Yep. But you, you, you have the decision. You make yes. the decision. You have the power yep. to to decide what stays. Hallelujah. What you're thinking about over and over again, and over again. is what you're thinking about taking you to the place that God has purposed for you, yep. is what you're thinking about bringing the healing towards you. Yes. Oh, the Bible tells me in the book of Philippians, I think chapter 4, yep. verse number 8, it says, whatsoever thoughts are pure, whatsoever, whatsoever are pure. thoughts are of, 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 of a good report. good report. He says, if it is noble, noble. he says, Think about these things yes. because these are the things that are going to take you to the place that I have purposed for yes, you. Yes, yes, keep yes, your yes. thinking there. Hallelujah. Be, keep your thoughts there yes. because that's the way you are going to achieve the things that God is doing for you in this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, stop thinking that I can't. No. Stop thinking I won't. Yeah. Start thinking, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I, I can move that mountain. I can. I can build that house. Yes, sir. I can start that business. Yes, sir. I can do that wedding. Mm. I can have them kids yes sir I can, I can get that degree yeah yes i can yes i because can everything that god says i can mm. yes i can yeah. i'm reminded of the children of israel mm. as they went to spy the land mm. the bible says they came back unto moses with mm. a negative report yeah they said we've spied the land mm. it's flowing with milk and honey yes sir. it's a good land it's mm. a fruitful land mm. but the inhabitants are massive we mm. can't overcome them yep. they are men of renown they're mm. giants yeah and the land is big a good land the mm. fruit is 
big, but it appears that the land <laughs> is consuming its uh, inhabitants. Yeah. And then they said the giants are so big, yeah. the fruit is so big. Mm. We were like grasshoppers, oh. watch this, in our, our own eyes. eyes. My goodness. You see, you don't have to be a grasshopper mm. or a giant in mm. your enemy's eye yes, sir. to be a grasshopper or a giant. Or a giant. All it takes is you being a grasshopper in, in your, your own, own eyes. eyes. Yeah. In other words, if you think yourself limited, mm. incapable, yeah. if you're thinking, I cannot, mm. I, I, I won't, mm. I, I can't get there, can't mm. get done, can't mm. finish, can't mm. graduate, mm. then in your own eyes, if that's what you're thinking, that's then what you're you, gonna be. that's what you're going to be. Yep. And I came to declare, we came to declare today yep. to you, yes, sir. change your thinking. Change think your thinking. Think bigger than you've been thinking. Yes. Think wider than you've been thinking. Hallelujah. You may be the last born, you're going to be the next king of Israel. In the name of think Jesus. Think bigger than you are Ooh, now. You might on. be a little shepherd boy, but Pitch you're going to kill Pitch that it. Goliath. Yes. You're going to stand on the mountain of his head, yes. cut his head off, yes. and declare who is Lower this uncircumcised Philistine, Philistine to mm. defy the armies of God. Come on. Think big. Yes. You are not limited by your village. Not think limited. Think bigger than your village. Yes. Think bigger than your city. Yes, sir. Think bigger than your little town. Yes, sir. Think bigger than your degree. Yes. Think big, so big, there yes. is no limit. There is One no limit. One of the things that drives me mad, that mm. makes me lose my cool, mm. is when I talk to people and they say, I can't. It just, <laughs> Pastor Charlie knows this, it just makes me go bonkers. I know. What do you mean you, you can't? Can. That's an insult to God. Yeah. It's an insult to yourself. Mm. And it's an insult to me. Yeah. That's why we come to declare, yes, you can. Yes, you Think can. Think that you can. Glory to God. Think that you will. Yes. There is a new hope for you. Yes. There is a miracle on the horizon Glory for you. Glory to God. There is a breakthrough on the horizon in for you. In the name you. of Jesus. Think big mm. in Jesus' name. Mighty name. All right. The second mm. thing we want to talk about here, Pastor Charlie, yes, we're sir. running out of time. Yes, we is are. That we need to change our expectation. Mm. First of all, we need to change our thinking. Yeah. When we change our thinking, mm. we need to change our expectation. expectation. Yeah. The Bible says the expectation of the righteous, yes. it will be fulfilled. But yeah. the fear mm. of the wicked will come upon them. <laughs> But, but you know, it is really the same Ooh. and one of the same thing. Yeah. Expectation is the top side of the coin. Mm. When you flip it mm. upside down, it is called fear. fear. Expectation is faith. Mm. You're expecting something from God. Yeah. You're expecting blessings and miracles and, 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 and wonderful breakthroughs. Yeah. Fear is mm. the opposite. You're mm. expecting something negative. Yes. You're expecting that you will fail. Yes. You're expecting that the money will not come through. Mm. You're expecting that you will not graduate. Mm. You will not get there. Yes. You're expecting that you will be abandoned. Mm. The Bible calls it doubt. Yes. That's why we've come to tell you today, change your expectation. Change your expectation. Change your limits. Yes. Change what you expect is coming ahead yes. in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you change the expectation, yep. you suddenly change uh, the things that come to you. Yes. Because then you release the energy of the stuff that you want to happen around yep. you. Yep. You start now, if you're expecting healing, yep. it means that now you are carrying the the aura for healing you 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 you're carrying the mindset of the of the one that is healed of god yep. you're carrying grace for it yep. you you you're starting now to believe yes. because you cannot you know you cannot get what you've not been expecting no, God to no, do. You, you have to expect it because it's the breeding ground of the miracle. Hallelujah. It's the breeding ground. What you're expecting God to do, the, the scripture you quoted, it cannot be cut short. No. That's the promise of the word of That's God. The promise. And God is not a liar. The Bible says he's not a man to lie. Hallelujah. He's not a son of man to repent. Yes. God is not lying when he says your expectation will not be cut short. Yes. So what is it that I have to do? It means that I have to expect expect God to do things that are over and beyond. I'm not expecting God to do the things of yesteryear. Mm -hmm. He says forget the former stuff. Forget, forget the former them. Things. I did some great yesterday, yep. but I'm not what I did yesterday. No. I'm doing something new, something today. new today. Can you expect it to happen? Oh, he says I am causing ri um, rivers to flow out of the yes. desert. Yes, do you yes. see the rivers see flow the rivers? out of yes. the desert? In yes. other words, because that's your expectation. Expectation. Are you expecting to see God bless you? Hallelujah. Are you expecting to see your business flourish? Yes, yes. Are you expecting to see yourself healed in your body? Yep. That back getting healed, yep. that leg walking again, yep. 
your eyes seeing again? Yes. Are you expecting to see the move of God mm. in the generation, in this generation? What are you expecting God to do? Because that will determine how you work, that will determine how you pray, how that you will pray. determine everything that everything you do. Because you. your expectation, like I said, is the breeding ground for the miracle of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you need a miracle today? Yep. Raise your expectation. Hallelujah. Do you need a breakthrough? Mm. Raise your expectation. Ooh. Do you want God to do great things in mm. your situation? Mm. Don't have that wishy-washy below standard, no. below God kind no. of faith. Mm. Raise your expectation mm. that God will meet you at the point of need. Of need. All right, Pastor Charlie here. The third thing we want to talk about here mm. is that you need to change your input. Yeah. You, you first you change your thinking. Yeah. Then you change your expectation. Yes, sir. But because you have a certain expectation, mm. you begin to change your Input. input. The Bible tells us of the woman had the issue of blood in mm. Mark chapter 5. Mm. She came in the crowd because she expected a miracle. Yeah. First of all, she was thinking mm. I've been sick all these years. I need to get a healing. Mm. She's thinking, I've heard of this Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> I was opening eyes. Yes. I was healing people. Yes. Could it be that he could heal me? Yes. She stops thinking. Mm. She now starts expecting. Mm. And she said to herself, mm. if I can go mm. into the crowd mm. close enough to Jesus Woo! and touch the hem of his, of his garment, garment, I will will be yes. made whole. Mm. She's now not only thinking, she's mm. expecting. Yes. But guess what? She's not just expecting. Yeah. She's now on, changing Bishop. her input. Yes. What does she do? She gets out of her little bed. Yes. She says, bed, I'm running off I'm now. running off. I'm running off to Jesus. Yes, sir. I'm going to get through that crowd. Yes, sir. I'm going to touch the hem of his garment. <laughs> the hem of his garment. And when garment. I touch his garment, Woo! I will be made I will whole. be made so whole. So she puts in the input. Yes, sir. I see her walking down Jerusalem Highway. Go go. And she's pressing through the crowd. Mm. And then all these crowds all around, yeah. big old man, yes. tired man, sick man. Yes. She's a sick little frail woman mm, who's mm, been mm, sick mm, for 12 years. Yes. But her input is not small. It's not she's, small. She's, she's elbowing these men out mm, of the way. Mm. She's pressing through the oh, crowd, the Bible God. say. <laughs> Can you imagine a woman who's been sick for 12 years, for 12 years. pressing through the crowd yes, until she gets to Jesus? Yes. She goes behind the bodyguards, Peter and them fishermen who mm. are trying to keep the crowd away mm. and she grabs a hold of Jesus' garment. Nah. And suddenly power was released from mm, Jesus hallelujah. unto the woman. Yeah. And Jesus said, oh, what happened? Who touched me? Mm. I felt... Power. power. Yes. But you see, this woman yes. had some input. Yes, sir. Stop staying in your bed mm. waiting for a miracle. Yes. Stop staying in your home Ooh. waiting for the miracle. Go Get go. up. You're Get thinking up. big. Get up. Mm. You're expecting big. Yes, sir. Get up. Mm. Begin to do some big things. Hallelujah. Begin to do some big input mm. because your miracle is waiting for your Input. input. Glory to God. Ooh, that's powerful. I feel mm. like I shouldn't add anything. But, 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 but it's it's very important for, for us to match our expectation yeah. with the things that we do. Yes. You cannot be expecting, you know, the farmers say it, because your level of input mm. <clears throat> Your level of input determines the harvest that you're the going to get. get. So you cannot put something small and then you expect that you're going to get big. No. It, it's, it's not practical. It's, it's not, not practical. rational. Yeah. Jesus actually said it that give and it shall be given back to you. Yep. Press down, shaken yep. together and running yep. over. Yep. This is going to be the thing that comes to you. Yeah. Your Input is important. He says, with the measure that you give, with given. the measure that you give. In it other words, what, 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 what is the measure that we're What's giving? Some of us want to get huge miracle with a, a very minute input, mm. and that's not God. You know, you cannot. Change, change you input. know, the Bible says you cannot mock God. No, you, you, mock you, God. you cannot mock God, no. and sometimes that's what we want to do. We mm. want to take God for a ride, and take God, God cannot granted. be taken for for no, a ride. No, Child of God, you have to match up your prayer life. Yes. You cannot get the move of God with that kind of sluggish kind of prayer. You're, 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 you're praying and you're sleeping and you're praying no, and there. you're sleeping. And then you expect God is going to move in signs and wonders. Hey, mm. child of God, that's not how it works. How Unless it works. You're, you're, you're trying to get some magic charm somewhere. No, 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 because no, no, no. That's, not how, that's not the way of, the kingdom. the way of the kingdom. You're going to have to tarry in the place of prayer. Yep, yep. You're going to have to tarry sometime in, in, in fasting. Yep. You're going to... You 
have to tarry in the place of reading yes. and studying the word of yes, God. Yes, I'm not yes. just talking to the preachers. I'm talking to you, the businessman. Yes. How much time have you invested in that business plan uh -huh. that you have? How, How much, much time have you put in there to look for the customers and the mm. clients and, mm. you know, following them up and, you know, giving them that call and then, you know, sending them that extra, uh, that extra email mm. and doing something extra for them because if you're not matching up your input, yep. chances are you're not going to get the result that you so are expecting because that level of expectation de demands Yes, Forgive me. Demands. It demands that you put in the equal level of oh, input, input and then God is going to meet you halfway and take you to the places that you cannot take yourself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, Pastor Charlie. Yes, sir. All saints, people of God, let us up our input. Let's up our Let's input. Pray more. Yes, sir. Let's get in the word of God more. more. Let's believe God more. more. There is a, re a revolution upon us. Yes. God is turning things around for you. Yes. God is turning things around in your family, yeah. in your business, in yeah. your city, yes. wherever you are. Glory. But in order for you to protect of the revolution, mm. you need to change your input. Don't just put in that entry level effort. Mm. Let us put in effort that is worthy of the kingdom. Yeah. Let us put in the prayer that it requires. Let's mm. put in the fasting it requires. Yeah. Some of you haven't fasted for 17 years. My God. And, and you say, well, the year I got born again, <laughs> I started fasting. Come on. Let us begin fasting again today. Yes, sir. Let yes, us begin sir. tarrying in the presence of in God the presence today of again. God. Some yeah. of you haven't had a night of prayer in 20 seven years My God. and you say well in 27 Bishop Richard called me for a <laughs> night of prayer God moved in signs and wonders uh, and you have done nothing in the past 27 years 27 let years. us change our input yeah. in order to change mm. our situation yes, sir. remember guys we are talking about the revolution God is splitting wigs and turning situations around for all of you yeah. first we've said you must change your thinking, thinking. when you change your thinking mm. now you're on your way to the breakthrough mm. secondly we've said you must change your expectation yes sir and Pastor Charles, miracles. Because mm. if you've got no expectation mm. there's no way you can lay a claim on a miracle yeah. you must expect God yeah and then we've said thirdly let us change our input yeah. yesterday's input got mm. you so far yeah in order for you to break through the barriers mm. you need to go beyond now mm. that means you change your input yeah as we get ready to close we want to pray with those of you that need to receive Jesus as your Savior because mm. some of you have not yet input Jesus yeah. in your heart yes sir Pastor Charlie is going to lead us in prayer mm. if you want to commit your life to the Lord today we challenge you pray with us and God will turn your life around say this prayer with me say dear Lord Jesus dear Lord Jesus come into my heart come into my heart and change and me. change me I repent of all my sins I repent of all my sins and from today going from forward today going I forward, commit my life to I you commit Jesus my life to you Jesus rule and reign rule and reign and change my and, life and change my to life the glory of your to name the glory of your name amen amen, amen. those of you who have prayed that prayer with us we believe that Jesus has come into your heart mm. three things I want you to do. Read your Bible every day. Mm. Pray every, every day. day. Make sure you give God time in prayer mm. and in his word. And the third thing is that become a part of a local church. Mm. Find a bunch of believers and identify with them and grow with them in Jesus' name. You can be part of the Redemption Church right here online and in our in-person services everywhere that we are. Yeah. I believe that God has started a new work in you. Don't let it end there. Let it continue in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Pastor Charlie, as we get ready to close we want to pray for the people of God. We want to take a few minutes, two minutes in prayer. Mm. And we want to be praying that God will open our hearts, that we may embrace this change, yeah. that we may embrace a new hope yeah. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, Father, we thank you for men and women all yes. over the world today. Yes, Lord. Yes, we speak Lord. your word of healing and deliverance. In the name we of Jesus. We speak a word of hope. Where in there's the been hopelessness, we speak yes, to Lord. your situation and hope. we declare hope. In you will Jesus not die name. in you that will not die spot there. where you are. In Jesus you will name. break through. You will breakthrough yes in Jesus name. yes the challenges of today in will not Jesus be the challenges name. of tomorrow yes God Lord. will bring you to a new dimension in into the a name new of level, the Lord into a new grace yes we rebuke the spirit of fear in we Jesus the name spirit of doubt. in we Jesus every name limitation in your mind in the name the of limitation Jesus of your past the Out. limitation of your qualification in the name of the Jesus the limitation of your thinking yes we command a brand new thinking in Jesus we command name a brand new way yes of, of, of thinking for you yes when you're not thinking I can't I can't I can't no you're thinking I can I can I can I can. We declare right now yes. that you are a 
at a new level a and new you're changing level. your expectation. In Jesus' expect name. Expect miracles. Yes. Expect promotion at that job. Yes. Expect elevation. Yes. In that home, expect peace, grace, yes. and prosperity. prosperity. And we declare that you're changing your input. In Jesus' name. You are name. going deeper. Yes. You are going higher. Yes. You are getting stronger. Mm. You are doing more in Jesus' name. In you're not Jesus limited. Name. You are not held back mm. in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. We declare a new hope. Kasha we declare taba. a new day. Uba because sadis. the change of God is, is upon you even in right Jesus now name. in Jesus yes, name Lord. and everybody say amen. Amen. I'm going to leave you guys with a quote from Martin Luther King, the great American civil, civil rights leader, excuse me. Mm. Martin Luther King, what a man. He said, we must accept finite disappointment. Mm. That is limited disappointment. Mm. But we must never lose infinite hope. Wow. Let your disappointment be finite. In other words, it's limited by time and space. Mm. But let your hope be infinite, infinite. unlimited, Glory. unrestricted. Amen. Don't forget, God is with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our lines are open for counseling on Airtel on plus 256-759-777-444 and on MTN on plus 256-783-258-049. Saints of God, the principle of sowing and giving still works today. Your giving is a critical key to your prosperity. You can send your tithe, offering and miracle seed by mobile money on Airtel on plus 256-759-777-444 and on MTN on plus 256-783-258-049. You can also send through our website on www.redemptionglobal.net. Remember, a giving heart is a cheerful heart.